And um, AlphaGo was a system to play Chinese board game of Go. And this is what they play in China and Korea and Japan instead of chess. Go is actually a very simple game. There's only th um, two rules, basically, and I could teach you with it in five minutes. But it takes at least a lifetime, sometimes some would say many lifetimes, to master the game. And the aim of the game is, this is an end position from the end of the game. People, um, so there's two players, uh, black and white, and they take turns putting stones on the board. And eventually when the game, the board fills up like this, you end up counting how many um, areas of territory did you wall off with your stones. Uh, and the person that has, uh, the side that has walled off the most amount of territory, the most amount of squares with their stones, wins the game. So in this case, uh, it's a very close game and white wins by one point. Now the question is, why is this so hard Go so hard for computers to play. Chess was solved, uh, was, was, was cracked sort of 20 years ago. Uh, and then since then, Go has been one of the holy grails for AI research. And uh, there, there's two real reasons, uh, two main reasons why uh, Go has been much harder than chess. One is uh, the huge search space uh, that you need to, the, the huge number of possibilities in Go. So there are actually 10 to the power 170 possible positions in Go which is way more than there are atoms in the universe. There's about 10 to the power 80 atoms in the observable universe. 